So I am at the biggest technology show in the world, CES Las Vegas. I'm at the LG stand. They have some really cool tech this year. Let me show you. For the drivers out there, this is LG's AI vision concept. So what it is is a whole lot of sensors that figure out what you're doing in the car, good things and bad things. It'll sense things like your heart rate, where you're looking, your seating position, whether you're too close to the steering wheel or not, whether you're using your phone. And it figures all of this out and then lets you know when you should be doing things better. Also, when you're driving along, it'll have your uh, personalized preferences in here. So it, it knows that you're driving by your favorite coffee shop. It can suggest you might want a coffee pre-ordered for you so you can just drive on in and pick it up. So with LG's vision concept, life gets easier. Okay, so this right here is a gamer's dream. This is the world's first bendable 5K, 2K gaming monitor. So it bends, it's an OLED display, so it can go from flat to curved. Great for doing some work and then getting that curve around you for some immersive gaming. Plus it's 5,000 pixels across by 2,000 down. That's 5K, 2K for ultra high detail. And it has a 0.03 response time, so it is super fast. So that's 45 inches of glorious gaming monitor. I love it. Transparent screens are a big deal here. LG did introduce them last year, but they're totally flexing with 27 of them behind me here. Also, LG's signature OLED T, which is their transparent TV, is now coming to Australia in the first half of the year, and it only costs 80,000 bucks. So LG has done a collab with Will I Am for a great set of speakers. We got the little grab here, the bounce, as well as the stage. Now, Will I Am, using his musical expertise, has helped tune these and created sound profiles that use AI to adjust based on the music type. Uh, the best thing is that it keeps the bass nice and loud, even when you turn the volumes down, but the uh, vocals are still clear and crisp when you have the vocals and the volume turned up. So I really like that. Plus the lighting effects are super cool. You can actually see the subwoofers bouncing and the sound is really amazing for such a small package so definitely check these out if you're into sound and taking it wherever you go so this is lg stand by me too and it is a literally portable tv meaning you can pick it up carry it around battery powered lasts for about four hours it's a touch screen too and it has all kinds of versatile modes depending on how you want to use it so this is the music player and i've got it set up here on a desk and it's got a little stand you can hang it on a wall make it vertical horizontal Kids can use the tracing app and have a bit of fun with it. So all kinds of different things you can do. Really makes you think differently about a TV. So as you'd expect, AI is a big part of the show this year. And with LG's AI, the idea is that it's very personalized. So it learns about what's important to you and then communicates with devices all around your home. So for example, if you're into saving energy, it can set your devices into a really aggressive energy saving modes, or otherwise it just knows when you come home. So it can have their lights ready, the fridge primed up, more ice cubes made for your drink so you can kick back and relax. Okay, so I wasn't so sure about this, but it's really starting to grow on me. This is LG's indoor garden concept. So really what it does is it's got your plants, it provides water, there's actually a six liter basin for water, it's got lighting, it actually connects to an app so it can help you manage taking care of your plants, and it has 20 plant holes or a Ford seed kit, whatever that means, and it's really a great way for indoor gardeners to have things growing all year round. Okay, that's what you can expect from LG in 2025.